Hi everyone, this is Maxine Kay and Yoga from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. And we're coming to you on Saturday, a little later than usual, but it's been a very busy day here. And I always love to connect with you. I always want to bring you some message of inspiration and uplift and um, bring us to a deeper place of connection with spirit, with one another, and not get too involved in the vicissitudes of life and, and those external challenges that sometimes become internalized. And now I'd like to share something with you that's a very important passage from Ernest Holmes' Signs of Mind. He says, stay with the one and never deviate from it. I'm going to put this little girl down because she says, I've had enough of that, Mommy. Thank you. Stay with the one and never deviate from it. Never leave it for a moment. Nothing else can equal this attitude. To desert the truth in the hour of need is to prove that we do not know the truth. When things look the worst, that is the supreme moment to demonstrate to ourselves that there are no obstructions to the operation of truth. When things look the worst is the best time to work, the most satisfying time. The person who can throw him or herself with a complete abandon into that limitless sea of receptivity, having cut loose from all apparent moorings, is the one who will always receive the greatest reward. I've always loved this, and it really keeps my feet to the fire because there are times that things happen that are very difficult to deal with. And one of those things came up for me today, and it's been challenging. Now, I know the truth. I always know the truth in here. And until I remember that truth deeply within my heart and soul, I may be caught up in the external to some degree and for some time. So I agree. I want to know the truth right in the middle of anything else that may be going on. And I want to return to that place of peace and power just as quickly as I can. But you know what? We are spiritual beings, but we're also having a human experience. And man, did I have a human experience today. And I needed to move through the emotions of it. Gee, there seems to be a little bit of it left, huh? And, and so it's okay. It's essential, in fact that we feel our feelings as we're moving back to the truth. Now, a dear friend and, and um, crusty old religious science minister uh, who's been off the planet for many, many years by the name of Chet Castellaw, he once wrote a book called When Things Look the Worst. And that's exactly what Dr. Holmes is talking about here. This is when we get to roll up our metaphorical sleeves and our metaphysical sleeves and get to work and come back to the truth. I've told people more than once that I'm not crazy about dusting. That's boring. Over and over again, you've got to you know, remove the same dust from the same furniture day after day. What's creative about that? But give me a filthy floor and I will thrill to scrubbing the heck out of it and seeing the difference. I want to see the difference. Well, what happened today, I will just tell you briefly, if you promise never to ask me any more details, because I have no interest in going over the details again. I was scammed to quite a bit of money. And so I got to do some work about Forgiving myself for stupidity, forgiving the scammer, releasing him to his greatest good, not holding any resentments, and most of all, refusing, absolutely refusing to experience myself in any kind 
of victimhood. I am victorious. God is the source of my supply. I am prosperous because I am an individualization of the abundant nature of God. I know that to be true and it has been taking me a while to continue that deep, deep dive into spirit where I remember the truth and I'm rolling up my sleeves and man, am I scrubbing a floor today. So my dear friends, things are going to happen. And as you know, and as I know, what happens to us is much, much less important than what happens in us. And so I am rising up to be victorious, to find the gifts here at the same time that I allowed for the tears and I allowed for the what the heck. You can change that any way you want, but what the heck? It's my first and I trust last experience with such a thing. So here I am to remind you that we need to throw ourselves with complete abandonment into that limitless sea of receptivity, having cut loose from all apparent external moorings and receive oh, all the great rewards. I am ready for these gifts, ready, willing, and able to receive them. Thanks for listening. Now, my beloveds, I trust you'll be with us tomorrow morning as we live stream from Sweet 16, just us and the production crew. And it's a beautiful opportunity to bring music in, to bring our practitioners in, to bring our board members in. So you have a sense that, that we're all together in the same room. And it's a very sacred room that we're in because it goes far beyond any four walls. It's a sacred room. And please join us at 1030. Just go to our website, cslphilly.org, and it tells you exactly how to get to the live stream. We welcome you. I need you to be with me tomorrow, okay? <laughs> so thanks for your love. Thanks for your support. Thanks for continuing to support with prayers and, and with your finances, our beautiful center, and the great gifts and the great um, opportunities that we offer. We are indeed a transformation sta station and I have been living in that transformation statement now and woohoo! I am victorious and so are you. Thank you for being with me. We love you and uh, hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>